you know it seems a mighty long time since the millennium celebrations, the year 2000. And would you believe that that was the year when this caravan was built? It's a swift Barnwell and it also has the word archway on it because it's what we call a dealer special. It was sold at a place called White Arches and they normally come with one or two little nice extras just to make them appetising to buy. So it's old, it's 14 years old and if you were to buy a caravan of this age, if it was as good as this, it would be fine. But wait, that's not really the original, that's only just been fitted. You see you can upgrade things and this stabilising coupling head is only just fitted in place and it's ideal even on an older van. One or two things have been changed. No, not these. Now you can change them, but why would you want to? When you can buy adapters. Adapters that you perhaps would need if your car has that type of 13-pin socket. I see that the current owner, who's owned it since 2003, recognised that this needed changing. It was one of those really rusty old type and he noticed that all the plastic was coming broken and coming off. How wise to upgrade and fit that. Another thing which can be adjusted is the spare tyre, but let's come back to that in a minute because there's one thing you must not adapt at all and that is your gas system. This is one of the older ones. We've talked about this on a number of occasions when you have to go out and buy and buy your own regulator. This one needs some clips on here and that's something which is important when this gets a little bit older. So you buy the regulator to suit your choice of cylinder. Just another little amusement. This part here, the gas strut, has lost its oomph. Not unusual at all. You can get replacements if you hunt around long enough, but why spend money when this camping pole, this awning pole, is just as effective? Now, can you see this mark here? That was where the tyre once sat, and this caravan was designed to carry its spare wheel on the front in the gas locker, and that's very convenient, easy access. But the trouble was the owner of the caravan found that it put too much weight at the front end and it was difficult getting the nose weight right. So very sensibly, he arranged to buy an Alco wheel carrier, and this was duly fitted by the dealer further back underneath, and that left the space that was once there for the tyre. Now I need to have a look at the tyre and I want to look at the wheel. So follow me. Good to see a wheel clamp, very wise. Unfortunately, it's not obscuring the bit I want to show you. Just to help, I've put a bit of powder on here to make it stand out for the camera. There's the important figure, 13. That tells me that that's the diameter of the wheel and the appropriate matching tyre. And it's very interesting because that used to be the size of tyres and wheels fitted on caravans for many, many years until around the time when this was built. Why did they change? Well, I can tell you why. I remember in France, in the days when we didn't carry a spare, having a terrible blowout on a motorway. Would you believe, because it was a 13-inch tyre, it took two days to find a Michelin tyre in France, and I had to miss the ferry in the process. No surprise then that in 2001, Swift and Eldis both changed their wheel sizes for 14 inch. Bailey followed the following year and now the practice is on modern caravans with single axles to have 14 inch tyres and wheels and then you can get them abroad. Now there's something else I want to show you. Here we've got a water heater and it's a Carver Cascade. Now this is a little bit sad to me because the company who made this splendid water heater was not just British but it was on the way down and in 1999 it ceased production. But don't let that worry you if you buy an older caravan and find that it's got a Carver Cascade because you can get spares. In Nottingham there's a firm that services them and it was so liked that one person went to the Far East and got a company to make one under proper license and they called it the Henry. And it fits in the space here if you wanted to replace this and many of its, its spares are interchangeable too. What a nice feeling stepping inside a big end bathroom. You don't see that quite like that 
so often these days. It would sleep four, sometimes five, and little snag though. Oh, be careful, John. It's got one of those carpets, typical of the age, which you couldn't remove for cleaning. Fortunately, this family have looked after it. Regarding the kitchen, it's fairly conventional. No microwave oven, of course, in this stage. You can always add one if you wanted to. But all this is fine, good fridge, and I notice whale water systems. And here, kept for safety at the moment, is the whale submersible pump. And this isn't the original, but never mind about things like that because whale spares go back 20, 30 years. In fact, just to make the point, the Elite Tap, as it's called, I brought a spare just to prove that you can still get them and repair them easily. Going a little bit higher, I see that there's a fluorescent light and they were popular in the time. It may be that you would want an LED one because these have gone a little out of fashion, but they still work well. What about this then? You can even get replica tubes which have LEDs in. You just need to make a little bit of alteration in there to the electrics. Now I really like this fan and to be honest it's not that hugely different in layout from some of the latest models. I'm told it has been serviced regularly, it doesn't have any leaks, there's no sign of any leaks, so that's great, it's 14 years old and I'm going to suggest that it will probably go on to 20, maybe 25 years as long as it's looked after, as well as it has been by the present owners.